Welcome everyone to this video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating four directional movement from eight directional movement. Now, in our game here, we have a top down character body with an icon, just the regular Godot icon with a collision shape. That's all we need to get started with this. Now, I've attached a script to our player with a simple physics function and a input vector that resets it to zero every frame. We also have move and slide, where here we can actually move and slide using velocity. Now, in order to create directional movement, we need to first check for input. And we can do this by saying if input is action, not just pressed, but pressed like this, we'll check for UI. We'll do up first. And then if it, I do click up, what I can do is change my input vector dot y and say minus equal one. Now, what we can do is simply copy paste this three times. So now we have this four times, but here we're going to go for down. We're going to go for the right over here, and then we're going to go to the left. Now you may guess that the input vector for the right and left, we need to edit the x direction. We're going to change that to x. Now for the right, we're going to add one instead of subtract one. And then the down, we're going to add one instead of subtract one. Now the reason it's done this way is because in Godot, if you don't know, the X and Y are reversed. So you can see here the negative is on the top and the positive is on the bottom. Now when I hit play, you may guess, well, first of all, actually, nothing will happen because we need to actually set our velocity equal to our input vector. And then we need to multiply it by a number that is relatively big because this is a pretty uh, small number already. It's one. Now we can hit play. And now you can see I have eight directional movement. But again, what's the, the question is, how do I get four directional movement? Well, if we look at our code here, we have four if statements that allow me to move up, down, right, left, all at the same time. So these all happen separately. So the question is, what happens if I only check for one of these at a time? Well, I can just do that by adding an elif statement for each of these. And then now, the game or the code will only check to see if I can click one at a time. Now I have four directional movement. I'm not able to move diagonally. I can only move right, left, up, down. There we go. That is how we create four directional movement in a very simple way. Hopefully that kind of helped you guys understand how it works and why it works that way, specifically in the order of the code. When our code looks at this and it asks us, hey, if I'm pressing this, then I can do this. But I'm not going to check for this unless this is not happening. So it'll only do one of these things at a time. Whereas if I had it like this, it can do any of these at the same time because all of these if statements are separate and non conditional to each other. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the sub button down below. I have an email list down below as well. Go check that out. And I will see you all in the next video.